Hi guys, my name is Rohan and I welcome back to my channel. Through this video, I wanted to give a quick demo on uh, one of my new initiative through which you will be able to learn and execute uh, a real-time projects using Talend. Right? Along with Talend, I thought of uh, covering a big data system, uh, Hadoop and Hive, and some of the data and file platform uh, using AWS services and SQL and some of the file systems as well. Right? For more details, you can check out my website talentpro.com or you can even check out the description uh, of this video. All right, so let's get started. I hope you already know me. Uh, I have started my channel Learning with Rohan about two years ago. And the reason I started uh, this channel is primarily because of the knowledge sharing. Right. Uh, we always go to search engines like Google or uh, other platform to solve our problem. Right. With whatever uh, resources we have. Right. But are we really giving it back? Right. So this was the thought process that came in my mind during, you know, deep COVID, you know, lockdown period. So that's when I started this uh, you know, channel to uh, share my knowledge there's nothing there's no other uh, intent at that point right so here are the contents i'll be primarily um, you know focusing on di and big data platform along with the aws cloud right and we will do some sql and uh, data lake data warehouse whatever is required for data analytics technically so those will be covered and um, Agile processes in the projects, some of the documentation and processes, right? You know, for example, BRDs, technical design document, business requirements, those type of documentation I wanted to help you all with, right? And some of the features of this new initiative is to execute a real time project, right? Through uh, some of the hands on session on talent and AWS, of course, big data. And uh, it will be adding a lot of scenario based requirements um with all possible uh, requirements so in this exercise i will be uh, helping you with the sessions but not exactly uh, execute your project right i want you to execute your project and i will uh, do the code review and whenever you need a guidance or let's say you are stuck with some um, you know some of the uh, process i can that's where i come in and help you out so here are the uh, contents and features of uh, the new course okay and most of us um, must be knowing you know these companies um, you know like intel canon amazon or google mcdonald's apple right so we are here to discuss the data analytics and each of these organization must be doing one or the other uh, data analytics projects in their um, you know companies right so let's take a deep uh, look at it so you take any companies uh, their main focus will always be creating a value they, they want to always create a value and then deliver it so that uh, people get benefited. So that's when they will grow and company, company will grow and make their profit. For example, you know, you take Google. Let's say you have some, uh, you know, problem, you want to find a solution, right? Google has a platform through which you can check uh, or, you know, come up with a solution for your problem. So likewise, you know, McDonald's, Apple and several other companies, you know, they always focus on creating a value and solving the problem, right? Solving the user problem is the biggest thing. I think that's very important, right? Um, so their uh, aim is to create value and solve problem. And also they will have their own uh, goals and they want to achieve their goals, obviously, and uh, make profit, right? So that is uh, for sure. And also while uh, during this you know, process, they want to reduce the cost and to break the competition and sustain in the competitive market. Right. So these are some of the key objectives for any companies. Right. You take any company, they will be uh, doing all this. So moving on, uh, let's say uh, if you take any organization, right, you know, let's take some XYZ organization. What are some of the entities and how they make profits? Right. So they uh, on, a, on a very high level, uh, I will be listing on only like three or four uh, entities. Um, but before I present, uh, do you want to uh, take a second and then think? All right. So let me move on. Uh, so here are some of the entities. So if you carefully observe, there's a products and services, either a region or location they are operating from. They will definitely have a customer or employees. Right. And also they will have a distribution network. And if you take the first uh, circle here, 
this is where either the company is manufacturing some product or selling the product or providing some services or consulting right so this is one of the uh, entity and as a second entity um, uh, which is you know demographics or uh, a company may be having uh, different tools right you know crm and hr tools to uh, meet um, you know the requirements for you know customer or their employees and manage them properly take care of the promotions marketing right so those are the other entities and the third entity is where uh, the region and location comes into picture whether you operate your business from domestic or international right as soon as you get international there is a, a requirement for data security right you need to be maintaining the data so that you uh, follow the compliance of that particular country so this is also one of the important entity and the last one uh, just for this discussion is the distribution network right they may have company may have online shop stores or a physical uh, shops in the bazaar right or uh, they may be getting some uh, referrals or from word of mouth right so these are some of the basic entities and uh, by operating all these uh, they will be able to make the money correct through this you know sales they will make money and uh, produce uh, goods and services right and then handle all the relationships with the customers right when you when you work in uh, different entities uh, organization will always have challenges with respect to how data is uh, handled or managed for example for manufacturing and products and other things you need a database right it can be one database or it can be two different databases or you may have a web application and you may get data from apis right so likewise uh, you may have crm tools on uh, some platform like oracle or some other you know platform and there could be some hr tools as well right so the data comes from various places or various applications and when the company has a different region and all the regions are sending data they may be sending data either using uh, xml csvs or json or through some application or a direct database access right so we have got lot of challenges for an organization right how do we solve all this problem and generate a report so that they can succeed and make profit right just think for a second so in order to get data from various different sources um, most of the organization they follow something called as etl process E stands for extract, T for uh, transform, and L for load. Right? Extract is a process where you generate data or extract data from different systems, and uh, you uh, kind of do the transform or cleanup so that uh, you get all the data in one single format in the target system. So let's say you have uh, data coming from different files and regions. The uh, data format may be totally different. For example, date formats and the decimal formats and uh, uh, you know, currency formats and those things will be different in each of the applications. So we need to transform all those things into one single format. So when we bring all the data into one single format, we um, usually do a dimensional model or a data model which supports a data warehouse or data marts. Right. So using which um, business will be generating reports and look at uh, their profits right if there are any losses they would also come up with the reason and uh, troubleshooting and also increase pricing when needed when there is a demand you know you, you increase the price or uh, when you need promotion you kind of you know give out uh, some sort of loyalty promotions right so there are several things that happens um, from the business users right so this is the overall uh, etl you know framework right uh, so moving on so you take any data projects and if you take a um, you know puzzle piece right each of the pieces would be something uh, we could call it as you know project management architecture and design uh, requirements or analysis version control for source con source code uh, a development and uh, unit testing right and also you get quality uh, qa and delivery 
so these are some of the key components you execute any ETL projects or any other projects right in general so these are something uh, mandatory components or key components okay so why am I you know uh, explaining all this is because we need to do a systematic learning so what I mean is systematic learning um, I wanted to cover all these phases analysis design development testing de deployment maintenance how do we deploy the code how do we administration how do we schedule the jobs so those things are i would say phases i actually bundled all of them into one single course through which i am expressing my initiative today so that's the systematic learning using real world or real time projects so let's say your uh, business you know wants to build a fancy car right I, for that a set of people would actually prepare a documentation through which they will specify okay i need a fancy and luxury i want uh, you know uh, feature num uh, x y z i want um, you know this kind of color i want you know bigger tires and i want um, you know the car to carry five people i want to go at you know 100 speed so those things in a plain english um, a business will be putting so that is called as brd business requirement document so this is the important thing so this is where actually all the real time project starts so this is the step one so as a technical team we take this brd and then convert that into technical design document so we take the business requirement from English to developer friendly technical documentation is what we kind of prepare it right so TDD is very important so we will be covering uh, BRD TDD and uh, you know technical design mappings uh, so mapping is nothing but from your source to target what is the table name and what is the column name right we have to map it correct from source to target we need to map it and when you map it we also used to specify the transformations in it right so this is also an important factor and then we have something called as unit test results through which we say that okay we have built now built a car and uh, we are now testing it and when you test it it's a uh, individual testing right but we before we hand it over to business there will be a set of team like QA team so they will perform the SIT they will uh, ride the car and then they'll find out okay whether it is good enough to give it to the business or not right so this is just an example of you know car but uh, the idea here is uh, there are several steps or phases and uh, there are much more actually these are just uh, limited ones uh, that I'm talking since I'm covering uh, all these phases um, I mean all the phases and the processes uh, I'm calling it as you know systematic learning to me systematic learning is to learn from uh, A to Z right whatever comes in the technical project that should actually start with A including all the steps involved all the phases involved to get to Z using systematic learning options um, feel free to you know check this uh, website I have also you know pasted a screenshot you can uh, download my um, you know mobile app as well I strongly believe that uh, we should be having complete systematic learning uh, in order to uh, apply or you know get to a enterprise you know level of project right when when you do that systematic learning you know exactly what are the phases and what uh, is actually covered in uh, ETL you know projects through so that you can um, you know perform well and succeed in uh, the next project if you are ready to take up uh, the systematic learning uh, feel free to you know check out my website for all the transparent details I have got a uh, day by day curriculum as well um, also you can download my mobile app for uh, some of the free downloads and resources 